going to look at radiation safety, let's see what we need to know. The first thing, of course, would be DEXA concepts about our equipment and how we use it. Next, what is radiation? And what are the three types of radiation protections for ALARA, which stands for as low as reasonably achievable? How do I protect patients? How do I protect co-workers? And how do I protect myself from exposure? And what about pregnant workers and patients? We're going to spend some time covering these topics today. All persons using DEXA or dual energy X-ray absorption scanners should be instructed in core competencies, including radiation protection, patient care, history taking, basic computer operation, knowledge of scanner quality control, patient positioning, scan acquisition and analysis, and proper record keeping and documentation. For operating procedures, please refer to your vendor's operator manual. Each manufacturer's DEXA scanner is unique and to optimize your ability to utilize the equipment, you need to use the vendor's operator manual. Using the manual, you can get the detail you need to optimize your exams. Although we will review some of the concepts used in DEXA scanning, the primary purpose of this presentation is to focus on radiation safety for the operator, patient, and fellow healthcare workers. What are your responsibilities when you are performing a DEXA exam? First is to work in a safe manner. Next, comply with radiation protection regulations. And finally, report unsafe procedures to your State Bureau of Radiation Health. Although the physician has the ultimate responsibility for radiation safety, as the operator, you are primarily responsible for ensuring that the exams are done correctly and in a safe manner. Now, let's talk about radiation. Radiation, including x-ray, has existed since the beginning of the universe. So we as human beings have coexisted with radiation for 10 to 20 billion years. Today we're going to eliminate some of the fear that you may have with education about radiation and radiation safety. You can use this knowledge to help educate your patients and the public and your fellow healthcare workers as to the true risks involved in utilizing radiation in a medical imaging scenario. The first thing we must realize is that radiation is around us at all times and our bodies safely absorb small amounts of natural radiation. In fact, we receive about eight microsieverts of radiation on a daily basis. In fact, we ourselves, human beings, are radioactive. There are radioactive sources within our own bodies that we emit radiation constantly. Well, let's talk about it realistically. A sievert is the amount of radiation measurement that we use to talk about the biological health of the body when exposed to radiation. A microsievert is one millionth of one sievert. So our background radiation received daily is eight millionths of a sievert. If a human being receives one sievert dose of radiation at one time, this will increase their risk of cancer during their lifetime by 5%. What percentage would a microsievert increase your risk of getting cancer? Natural background radiation is all around us. Background radiation varies from place to place and over time. Depending on the amount of naturally occurring radioactive elements in the soil, water, 
and the air. Beyond background radiation, we utilize low-dose medical radiation to produce exams for the benefit of our patients. The amount of radiation we use in a DEXA exam is almost negligible. Let's compare it to the background radiation we receive daily. Background radiation, the natural radiation that is always present in the environment, includes cosmic radiation, which comes from the sun and the stars, terrestrial radiation, which comes from the earth, and internal radiation which exists in all living things. To do bone mineral density or DEXA scanning, we utilize ionizing radiation and we produce the ionizing radiation. Shown above are images that represent two different energies that are interacting with the tissue of the body and we are taking a look at what they produce as far as data images and analysis. Here we can clearly see the bone or skeletal tissue as well as the other tissues which comprise the body. So let's put this all together about the bone density scan, the sievert, and the amount of radiation. The sievert is a measure of the health effect of low levels of ionizing radiation on the human body. Each of us receives about eight microsieverts of background radiation daily from the Sun and the Earth and any radiation we receive in excess of this we can measure and quantify. The dose of radiation a patient receives from a whole body bone mineral density scan is about four microsieverts. The chart above demonstrates how many microsieverts you would receive or dose of radiation you would receive on a flight from LA to New York if you receive a dental x-ray if you receive a chest x-ray or if you receive an abdominal CT scan. In comparison, the dosage that a patient receives in a whole body bone mineral density scan is very small. How many sieverts of radiation does a DEXA scan provide? Depending on your size, a DEXA body comp scan delivers one to four microsieverts. That stands for one one millionth of a sievert which is rather minuscule. Knowing and understanding that we're using very low dose radiation for bone mineral density, let's take a look at some of the concepts about DEXA or dual energy x-ray absorption. Well, FDA approved bone densitometers. Companies such as GE and Hologic have FDA approved software packages that are used with these approved bone densitometers. The Hologic Whole Body DXA Reference Database software used on Hologic QDR bone densitometers measures the regional and whole body. These body composition values are useful to healthcare professionals in their management of diseases and conditions where the disease or the condition itself or its treatment can be affected by the relative nature of the body composition. Each vendor or manufacturer has their own proprietary software and hardware for bone densitometry. This schematic represents the basic components of a bone mineral density scanning densitometer. The three basic components of a densitometer are the C-arm, the detector array, and the x-ray source. The patient lies on a table to receive the x-ray exposure for the examination. 
The detector array and the x-ray tube are located on opposite ends of the C-arm configuration. During this low-dose radiation examination, the x-ray tube and a detector array move synchronously along the patient. The x-ray tube provides the energy for the examination, showing us both soft tissue and bone. The detector array collects those energies and creates data that can be utilized for analysis and imaging. A computer takes the data from the array detector and utilizes that data with software to create images and analysis of the bone and tissue densities. Each vendor uses proprietary software. During the exam, we are measuring the amount of radiation absorbed by the living tissue, particularly to determine density. We look at body symmetry, visceral fat, fat mass, lean muscle mass, and bone mineral content. This data is acquired from the absorption of adipose tissue, water, bone, and soft tissue. Knowledge of both the physical nature of x-ray absorption by biological tissues as well as the changes leading to osteopenia and osteoporosis is required to understand the DEXA findings. Our body is constantly losing and creating bone. In fact, we change our entire skeletal system out about every 10 years. We utilize what are called osteoclasts and osteoblasts to both build and tear down the bone. As long as these are in balance, we are fine. But once they become unbalanced, we have problems which can be the diseased bone, such as osteoporosis. At the same time as bone mass is lost, changes in bone structure occur. Bone is composed of two compartments, cortical bone and trabecular bone. The structural changes seen in cortical bone represent bone resorption. This process may be beneficial in helping to discern whether we have a diagnosis of metabolic disease which is affecting the skeleton. The use of DEXA scanner technology allows us to view not only the bone density but the body composition. The radiation levels utilized in this technology are so low that the operator and patient are completely safe and no film badge is required to monitor the amount of radiation produced by this equipment. Thank you for watching and enjoy your DEXA scanner.